All right, class, time to get out your pencils and papers and learn something. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Teaching with Mr. Fixer. Now, as you may notice, we're not in my normal world. That's because whenever Feed the Beast updated to 1.12, half my base disappeared in some sort of strange glitch. So, yeah, it's pretty much gone. I can't access anything. My storage network was destroyed. My nuclear reactors went off, so I pretty much don't have much of anything other than what I was carrying with me. In fact, most of my books are gone even. So it was just a horrible experience. So I was requested by Andrew Wimmer to do a video on the ME Assembler and how it interacts with assembly, the ME interface reacts with the assembly tables. Now, as you can see here, I've gotten these broken down a little bit. Like this one is only set up for wiring for gates, OR gates, ME processors, etc. You do have to set up multiple assembly tables if you want to automate these with ME interfaces. The reason for that is, in the interface, you put in the recipe for the redstone chipset, which says one redstone chipset requires one redstone. Well, this will create, whenever you put redstone into it, watch, let's make one. There you go, see it's getting power, won't take it very long. But because I've already right clicked this and turned it on, see now I've turned it off. But whenever you have these turned on, if I was to have, for example, one of the other chipsets in here, let's see, uh, let's go with, here, let's go with the, the uh, one for the pulsating chipset. Now let's take one of these. Now let's just tell us to craft one of those. Now watch. This said, go ahead and put one ender portal and one redstone in there. So as you can see, it now has the ingredients to make two things in here. Even though, if you because if you have both of these on, it'll try to create one and it'll try to create the other one, and it'll try to create the first one. The thing is, if, for example, after it does this, if we try to tell it to build another grouping of them, whoops, watch what happens. You know, it puts more in here, but it's not going to put multiple ender pearls, uh, it'll put the multiple ender pearls in there, but it'll start making even more of the redstone chipsets that you don't, a you didn't ask for. So you have to break it out, otherwise you'll end up with a bunch of, see, here you go, and it makes a redstone chipset, which leaves you with an extra ender pearl. So you can't, anything that requires the same inputs, you can't put together, which is why this one has to be alone, because just about almost all these other ones, except I think the gates, yeah, these don't require redstone. So I guess technically you can put the redstone chipsets in with the AND or the OR gates. But just for, you know, sake of sanity, I didn't do so. But here you can see these all require a redstone, but they require different other inputs like ender pearls, diamond, gold ingots, iron ingots. And this one just requires a redstone chipset. So that's why it, this one's separated out. Same thing with the AND gates. Each one of these has its requirements in here. Wiring for gates, because redstone and iron ingots is used in the creation of iron chipsets, you have to keep these away from the iron chipsets. So this is just a good way of separating it out. And of course the ME processors require redstone and diamonds, redstone and gold, which here we have redstone and diamond, redstone and gold. So the ME processors also have to be kept separate from the normal gates and the other chipsets and such. But how this works is now, Go ahead and take these out. Whoops. Take these out. If I want to make an autarkic diamond AND gate, first thing it does is it tries to make, oops, a pulsating chipset. It tries to make some wiring, which it actually has already done. Then it starts putting all the parts necessary, like this diamond is for the diamond chipset, the iron is for the iron chipset and the ender pearls for the pulsating chipset, and of course it puts redstone in for each one of them. And where, oh where, is the gates? Okay, here it's gotten four of this already. 
And as soon as the iron chipset's complete, so you'll see I didn't turn it on here because I wanted to make sure it didn't make this one. So let me see. Oop, there we go. See, I hadn't turned these on yet. So this is for the AND gates only. Ta-da. That really should work, shouldn't it? Did I get the recipe right for that? AND gates, AND gates. Iron AND gates. Okay, requires a redstone iron chipset and a red pipe wire. Redstone chipset and a red pipe wire. Oh, that's right, because it's already working on this. It hasn't put any power to anything else just yet. It won't split it up. I'll explain how these are powered in just a minute. But you can see they go really fast. And since they have a range of four, you want to make sure that uh, you keep them relatively together. You know, so that you maximize the amount of uh, energy you put into one of these things. And then this one should crank up next. Here we go. Iron ore, iron and, diamond and. Okay, I want to make sure you turn all the ands on this one on. Let's see. That's turning away. And of course, this one doesn't have anything in it because I haven't turned anything on in this one. So you'd want to turn it on here so that you specify exactly what it is that it's allowed to make. And you have to break apart the ands and the ores because they require exactly the same materials. And see, that's one, why is it not put a red pipe in here? Diamond and, supposed to require one of each. Okay, apparently, whenever it saw that there was already one red wire in there, it didn't take the rest of it. So it looks like even those will have to be separated out. Put it over here. Normally, I don't make these things. I don't make the diamond and gates or diamond or gates. For my purposes, you know, whenever you're doing the stuff in there, if you're doing a lot of the build craft pipes, then you'll use those. Otherwise, you want to use the, where is it? The autarkic gates. No, just the regular old autarkic gates. Where are they? There's a gate. I know I made one. Or maybe I didn't put the recipe in there. Well, it'll give me an opportunity to show you how to make an Autarkic Gate. So, as you can see, Autarkic Gate is a pulsating chipset, a gate, and a redstone iron. So let me go ahead and grab those. I need, whoops, need one of these. And I will need a gate. Where's my gates? There we go. Let me go ahead and put, oops, that's not what I wanted. What's it working on right now? Gates. Okay. So that's generating that. While it's doing that, I'll explain the power. This is about the setup I had. I had about 12 ultimate hybrid solar panels in, an, in a per persistently daylight world, which this is not. This is just a regular creative world. It goes into a HV consumer, which as you can see, it's not actually taking all that much power right now goes into an energy bridge, and that energy bridge is putting the power out to, inside of that is a buildcraft producer. Surrounding that buildcraft producer are five lasers, one on each side. Just for aesthetic purposes, I get them to point the same direction I had placed uh, these blocks behind it here, so that uh, I could make them all point in one direction just because I wanted to be aesthetically pleasing. But they all point that way. And they are fed only as much power as they require to complete the job, which for each one of them, I think it's four, or, uh, yeah, four megajoules per tick or something like that. Yeah, see, this is five, that one's three, this one's powering four of them, and this one's powering five. So that one's powering five, that one's powering five, this one's only powering four, because the one in the middle is being powered by that one. But this is the way you can do this. You can probably do a more efficient setup if you, like, space them in a particular way, but I'm not doing so. Oh, okay, looks like that's done. Where's my gate? And my iron gate. And I will show you how to make the recipes for these. Because it gets a little more complicated. It's here. And I need to actually make one, don't I? Alright, so I'm going to need to make one more of these. 
because you have to have what it is you need in order to make one. So let me, whoops. Time set zero. Yeah, you can see I was giving myself stuff just because this is for instructional purposes. But let me go ahead and wait for this to finish. I need a gate. And it should have already finished the iron ship set. Yeah, there it is. And where did the gate go? There it is. Now, because we're just going to put it in here. Now target gate. Now you don't have to worry about it because these things automatically pop whatever they produce, so they'll feed it directly back into the ME interface, which, because of the way they work, feeds it back into the terminal here. So you don't have to worry about where they're going to put out their information. By plugging it up, you automatically put it, it'll automatically put it back into the system whenever it produces. So you don't have any waste or don't need any extra pipes or import buses or any of that. All right, step one, put the blank pattern over here. Step two, put what it is you need. Since this is a shapeless pattern, you can put it wherever you want. Left click places one item. Left click again places blank. If you right click, it only places one, but if you keep left clicking here, it'll keep adding items. You know, that to clear it. Right click just places one, because if you have like a whole stack of these in your, on your cursor, whenever you put it up here, it'll put whatever number you have, unless you right click. You put what it is that you want to produce here. Because this is how you're telling it, you know, this is the three things you need, and this is what you are making. Click on encode, and there we go. And you can just exit out of it since there are no actual items are added in. And I think I'll put that in here. So now if I want to make an autarkic gate, where are they? Gate, autarkic gate. Let's say I want to make one. There we go. As you can see, it is putting all these parts in here to make the redstone iron ship set. It'll then spit that back into the system. And then it's got to make a gate. Oops. Oh, no. I forgot to take that out. And here you can see it's making a gate from the redstone iron ship set. Then it'll spit that gate back in here. When it's done. Dun, 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 and make the autarkic gate. And that's literally how all this is done. It's very straightforward. There's no real big trick to it. It's just a matter of knowing where to put what. And you will have an automated process to make the lovely gates. I hope you all have enjoyed this. If you have any other questions about how to work on something, let me know. For the most part, uh, the our FTB server I've shut down because after that last update, it it's just too much of a hassle for me to go ahead and update, so I'm going to be making whatever it is you want in this world, which is a peaceful, boring world. But at least this way you'll see how it's done without all of the trappings around it. In any event, I hope you all have a pleasant evening, and good night.